but oh no 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 this is like my um total Blair Waldorf look what can I do guys if you have any advice so I think this was a success <laughs> everyone welcome back to my channel so i just wanted to give you a tiny tiny little sneak peek of my future filming room it's not quite done yet so stay tuned for that but we're gonna do my handbag collection video today we're actually going to un box unpack all my bags you know I packed them up in this one video and I was just like please please let them survive for like six months <laughs> now's the time to finally get them out again and I hope nothing happened like honestly I have no idea they were stored away for six months guys okay friends let's do this I got my iced coffee I got my never full I show you my back room now and then let's uh, get into five of these Boxes. Okay, so welcome to my uh, back room. Yes, <laughs> that's Fran, Fran the second. She already moved in. The only living dinosaurs of today's world. <laughs> these are Ralph Lauren lamps. I really like them. Um, and these are going to be my back cabinets. Don't mind my coffee there. I got a couple of these things in case I need them because I've got no idea how I'm going to display all my bags. This is the situation, guys. This is the situation. So we got 50 bags in here. Test, 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 test. Hi, everyone. Okay, oh my God, I've been waiting for so long to film this video and I can't believe the day has finally arrived. So I hope this setup is okay. This is the first time I'm trying this out now. So I don't know if the lights are flickering or if you see me, <laughs> fingers crossed. So, okay, I would say let's start. First of all, my never full. You have seen this bag way too often over the last couple of months. People who didn't know me, they were like, why do you always only wear never full? Like, how uncool. And I'm like, we were moving house. <laughs> All my bags are in storage. So um, this was basically one of the only bags I had with me. And um, I just loved it because it was practical for every day. It was perfect for traveling and yeah, still my everyday bag right now. And to be honest, guys, just between you and me, I really need to clean my number full. Like, it's time. Okay, next up, my beautiful keyboard 45. I just got her in New York. Um, if you've seen my vlogs, and oh my god, that was quite a lot. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Um, yeah, this is what I picked up at Fashion File New York, and it's lovely. Love carrying this. Can't wait to go on my next trip. I've got no idea, obviously, um, what the final result will look like. I show you in the very end after I've had a go at it. Next up is this baby that I got while we were moving. And it is my Bulgari Serpentine top handle bag in the, well, white cream. Absolutely love this bag. You guys know this is my absolute favorite bag in the universe. <laughs> I've got three of those and there might be more in the future. And what I've just noticed, can you see the strap is still in there? <laughs> and it's even still wrapped, like I haven't even unwrapped it yet. Um, yeah. Next up is this, well it says Bottega Veneta, it's not actually Bottega. Um, this is my little Salvatore Ferragamo. Wonder bag, yes, and uh, it's a reissue. Love this bag, doesn't go well with pink, but uh, in general, it's quite a nice bag and you can wear it like a clutch as well. What actually should have been in the Bottega dust bag was my little chlorophyll um, mini Jody. And guys, uh, I love this bag so much. You probably remember, like during summer, I wore this every day for like three months, and then I noticed all the damage that this bag already has. Yeah, after three months of wearing it, it started like peeling and uh, was a little bit of a heartbreak moment. It's so practical, it's so cool looking. Um, I don't know how I can fix this. Or you know what, maybe I just wear it, enjoy it. Um, I always say it, handbags are meant to be carried and loved, so maybe we should just overlook certain tiny little imperfections. And this one is a very, very, very special piece because Gebrugery gifted this bag to me. And I am in love. This goes so well with my outfit. Um, this is probably one of my favorite bags in my entire collection. If, if there's a bag out there that is me, me. <laughs> That kind of screams Romina, then I think um, it would be this one. And honestly, the biggest thank you to Bulgari again for gifting me this bag, because I love working with them, you guys know that. 
And oh, I mean, look at this. Oh, match made in heaven, right? <laughs> So this is my Bulgari Serpentine top handle. This is the vintage looking um, model, but it's a totally new model that they brought out, but it has like, it has like a little vintage touch to it, right? Um, it's very like 20s. This baby, can you see? This is the absolute dream Barbie color, isn't it? There we have the Bulgari and it's got feet. It's got silver and gold hardware mixed together. I love that. Again, big thank you to Bulgari because this is only like one of ten in the world. I can't believe um, Dina got this bag for me. This is uh, the rainbow unicorn dream. <laughs> this is my little serpentine pouch in the small size. And yeah, of course, because she was stored away as well, like I really need to blow dry this. Can you see here at the back? I think I need to blow dry this a little bit to make it look pretty again. Um, but yeah, so this is the serpentine pouch. You can see the serpent right there. Oh, isn't she beautiful? Can you see how the blue goes into this lilac and then we've got this beautiful pink here at the bottom. Yeah, so this bag uh, comes with a strap as well, guys, but you know me, I barely ever wear straps. <laughs> Um, if they are detachable, most of the time I just wear a bag, like a little handhold bag or on the crook of my arm or as a clutch. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. Um, <laughs> and I haven't even started with the boxes. Plus guys, I've got literally zero clue which bag is in which box, so it's gonna be a surprise party. Plus I need coffee, so cheers, keeps me going. <laughs> okay, I know what's in here. <laughs> So Gucci, I love the Alessandro Michele um, era. Sometimes change is good as well. We see what the new designs will look like. But I loved, 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 loved Alessandro Michele so much. So, um, oh God, the floor is gonna be a mess. <laughs> so this is my Gucci Raja toad, guys. Let me get this out. This is such a cool design. This is perfect for autumn and winter. It's sweet, so yes, you have to be a bit more careful. Um, but I sprayed it. I can always only recommend like my Ak boots and stuff like I spray them if it's a sweet bag I spray it. So yeah, I love this bag. Look at the detail. Isn't it? Oh, look at the leather. How beautiful it looks and then the little Raja head right there. And I think I'm gonna need one of those golden things for it to make it stand up. I just got these of Amazon, guys, and the cool thing is you can make them longer. So, you know, depending on your needs, you can make this thing super long. And then, you know, depending on how... Oh, perfect! This is the perfect length. And then you can display your back like this. Okay, okay, it works. <laughs> It works, it works. They're super practical. No? That's amazing. Another burglary bag, or maybe, because sometimes I just use different dust bags for different bags, whatever was available. But this, guys, was actually my first ever burglary bag. And we can see her. This is the classic burglary Serpenti Forever uh, shoulder bag. Um, and this is in the color Rose Quartz. And um, yeah, I love this bag so very much. You can also um, wear it like this. Perfect length, um, if you ask me. And isn't she stunning? <gasps> wow. You know, if you haven't seen your own bags in such a long time, you forget how beautiful they are. We're gonna make everything look nice later on. So Chanel, is it Chanel though? <laughs> yes, it is Chanel, guys. So this is my beloved Chanel Gabrielle backpack. And guys, you guys know it, I've been wearing this so, so often since I got it. This is probably my most used Chanel bag. And she's super cool. She is... Hi, super cool. I love wearing her like this. Um, but to be honest, when I went hiking or so, you can actually wear it as a proper backpack. And it looks good. No? It looks really, really nice. Okay. <laughs> it's so funny, like when you yourself have got no idea what's in where. Ah, okay. This is probably one of my most favorite, well, my most beloved Chanel bags as well. 
This is the Chanel Mini Rectangular in the Gold Crocodile from the 2019 Egyptian collection. One of my favorite Chanel collections ever and I love this little baby as well. Okay, I just grabbed this bag and it felt like a cushion. Okay, I know why. <laughs> I was like, what bag is that? This is my beautiful Chanel classic flap in the medium size in the Rose Sakura Satin. And guys, again, I think this, oh, what a nice little bag, right? This is the fluffiest, most luxurious looking and feeling bag you will ever have seen or felt. <laughs> Honestly, from the moment I saw it, from the first moment I touched it, I was like, oh God, this is a must. Let's try one of these. I got these from Amazon as well. Yeah, that could work. Good that I got some of those Amazon thingies. They're practical. More bubble wrap. Okay, it says Chanel. Again, you never know. Oh, it is Chanel. <laughs> Again, this is one of the Métier Diar pieces from 2020. The gold one is from 2019, this is 2020. Um, one of my favorite pieces as well. This is the Chanel mini reissue. And I love mine so much because it shows like all the rainbow colors beautifully. Um, wow. Now that I got all my bags back, guys, you will see me with more different bags again. Um, and people don't need to complain anymore that I only wear my never full. <laughs> okay, I got a feeling. Um, I know what this is. I think this is my wedding bag. This is the, yeah, this is the Chanel Coco Handle in the beautiful gold. There we have her. Yes, this was my wedding bag, guys. And I'm still very, very happy with my shorts, I think. She it looked stunning with my dress. Um, if you haven't seen it, I'll show you. Um, yeah, okay, let's find her a nice new place for now. I've got no idea what I do later. This, I got a feeling, is my, yeah, my first ever Chanel bag. This one I bought for myself when I turned 25 and it still smells like new. It smells delicious. <laughs> So this is the Chanel Le Boy bag in the new medium. No, is this? Oh yeah, this is the new medium size. Um, and it's in the most beautiful, soft, subtle lambskin leather you can imagine with the antique gold, bronze gold hardware. Got the chain tucked in there. Oh, you know, you never forget your first ever designer handbag and you never forget your first ever Chanel bag. Let's get on with this. So, oh, hello, yeah, this is my Chanel Gabrielle bag um, in the medium size, the old medium. And it is a beautiful, stunning piece as well. I traveled with this baby to Japan and I felt it was super practical. By the way, guys, I think I have to check the inside of my bags because I know I put certain small bags in other bigger bags. So, okay, <laughs> this one only got the strap on the inside, but uh, yeah, some of my tiny bags I put in other bags, so I need to check where they are later. Hello, this is the Bulgari Serpenti Cabochon um, in a beautiful warm pink color with pink mother of pearl scales. And yes, this is gold plated. I always say it, Bulgari's hardware is mostly gold plated, especially if it's this rich gold color. Um, yeah, they do still gold plate their bags, which is incredible. So this is my mini Lady Dior in the Lotus Pearl. And the way, oh, uh, Oh yeah, I, I was worried about this one. Oh, I really was worried about this one from the moment I packed it in there because I was like, oh god, did I do a mistake? And oh. okay, let me let me I'll show I'll show you in a second what I'm seeing. Oh my god, this bag looked it was still in excellent condition. It was like entirely new. Um, and I've barely ever worn it and the puffiness of the quilts, obviously it deflates over time. I'll show you my vintage Lady Dior later, but this, especially because it's a metallic leather, I maybe, I should have not squeezed it and I've really squeezed it between like two boxes and uh, I should have not done that. Can you see how this one is totally deflated and there's a mark as well? Oh no! <gasps> And it looks like the um, iridescent, oh no! And it looks like the iridescent has come off a little bit, like the 
coating of the leather. <gasps> it looks way worse in reality. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. I will see it when I'm editing this video. But, oh no, 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 no. Here you can see it's super puffy and shiny. This one has like dark spots everywhere and it's totally depuffed. And I got a mark here as well. Oh no! And you guys, I knew this was gonna happen. Like I could have avoided this. Like I could have opened the boxes again because I was thinking uh, that that was gonna happen and like we had my bag stored with one of my friends and I should have just gone and looked at it and maybe taken this one out because I knew this was gonna happen. I mean, yeah, it's fine, you know, of course I will still wear it and love it, but it, it just annoys me so much because I knew about this issue. I should have just not squeezed it into the spot where I squeezed it in. Moving on, so this one I squeezed in the exact same spot, but because this is a very structured, hard-wearing bag, I'm pretty sure this one's fine. Um, oh, let me have a look at her. Yeah, this one's fine. This is my Bulgari Serpenti Forever in the small size in antique bronze. And this was my second ever Bulgari bag and I love it. I mean, just look at the classic clasp, the classic Serpenti Forever clasp. It's stunning with the malachite eyes. So gorgeous. Oh, this one is obviously, you know, very tough bag. It's very structured and you can't really do a lot wrong with it. And ah. Uh, yeah, I should have not squeezed the soft lambskin leather into the same spot. Then we have another bag that I squeezed in there and uh, please be okay, please be okay. This is my beautiful Chanel classic flat bag in the medium size from 1990, yes, from my year of birth. Um, so I'm very proud <laughs> of owning this one because it means so much to me. Um, yeah, this bag is exactly the same age as me and I love it so, so much. Look how stunning it is. And with vintage bags, it's fine, obviously, you know, that it's, uh, that the quills are like a little bit uh, deflated, but not, not when it comes to, you know, my new bag. Um, and I got all my bags, oh, look how beautiful, I got all my bags stuffed with tissue paper. I was a little bit worried about a musty smell or anything because they were stored away for so, so long, but nope, they smell amazing. Well, I can already tell you what's in here. This is my teeny tiny little um, Serpenti Cabochon bag. It's the cutest little cupcake. It's the tiniest little mini size. Um, it comes with a strap. I'm not gonna get it out now. Um, the strap is non-detachable, but it sits about here. So really, really nice. This was my first ever Lanvin bag and where well, the family has grown quite a bit since then. Oh, this is the classic Lanvin cat box bag, yes. Um, and I really want more in the future. Love this baby very, very much. She's stunning. She is absolutely stunning. Well, they're actually a little bit dusty. I've seen that now. <laughs> <laughs> and in this box, I had my little um, Fendi uh, monster back charm. I still love this thing. This one, please have survived. I'm so worried about my bags with like lots of little diamantes and sparkles and uh, let me just quickly check that nothing fell off. This is my Lanvin Hobo cat bag. This is the box one, this is the Hobo version. And I got a couple of these and there might be a new one soon as well. They all come with a strap as well. I just wear it like this. Okay. Can you believe it? This was only the first box. <laughs> I've actually got more cabinets for my bags because I knew not all of them would fit in here. But first now guys, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Idol. You guys know I love wearing Idol jewelry. I've basically been wearing it, like especially these earrings for the past year, like every single day. <laughs> I actually love it so much. So let me show you what I got this time. Christmas is coming up, guys, and I honestly believe that Idol is the ultimate luxury holiday gift. I mean, look at this beautiful packaging. I know my mom watches these videos, but guys, shh, it's just a little secret between us. I could honestly see myself gifting an Idol piece to my mom as well. She would be so, so happy. Not only is the packaging incredible, but your order also arrives super, super fast. I also got some extra goodies again. You never really know what you get. It's always a little 
complete surprise. I got the Shine Serum this time. I absolutely love cleaning even my engagement ring with it. All of Idol's jewelry pieces are made out of 14 karat gold and lab-grown diamonds. And lab-grown diamonds are obviously way kind of alternative to mined diamonds. All of their pieces are handmade and fairly priced. And you can choose between yellow gold, white gold or rose gold. You know that the Cocos wear the earrings that I've been literally wearing for a year straight now, right? All their pieces are modular. Modularity is a big thing, like I'm gonna show you how it works now. These I've been wearing for a year every single day. You can take them into the shower, you can go to the beach and swim at the sea, you can just go to the gym, like, you know, it absolutely nothing happens to these earrings. It's the best quality you can wish for. They're 14 karat gold and lab grown diamonds and guys, I love the Coco ones for sure, but I feel like the Tara ones that I got, they're gonna be an upgrade. This is the base stud and you can just wear the stud by itself if you do exercise or you know you go to the gym um, and if you want to change up the look, you can get so many different add-ons. They've got the most beautiful styles. So I've just shown you the Coco, um, and now in comparison, I will put the Tara in. Oh my God, okay. So this is the Tara, and it has one large diamond. Wow. Oh, I'm in love, guys. <gasps> okay, so these are my real diamonds. These are lab-grown diamonds. And like you can see, you cannot see the difference to the naked eye. It is absolutely the same. All of Idol jewelry pieces are super accessible because um, they are fairly priced. But this is the Coco. Um, it obviously costs a lot less, but you get the same style as the new Tara earring that I've got. Here you can see them in comparison. So it's the same style, but you know, if you want to go a little bit more boom with a large diamond, then you can go for the Tara. I can't wait to wear them, guys. You're going to be seeing me wearing this for another year. <laughs> um, if you want to find something a little bit more budget friendly, and you still want the same look, you can go for the Coco because it is the exact same style. It's just that the Coco is made out of um, lots of little diamonds, as you can see there. And the Tara is just one gorgeous big diamond. Oh my god, guys, and we got the necklace too. So all of these pieces are Taras. Oh, okay, this is going to be my new look. <laughs> and I just want to quickly show you one of my other absolute all-time favorite pieces. This is the Joanne. And just to show you the modularity again, so you got your base stud. You can choose any add-on, guys, and create a total different look. Et voila! And you can create a whole new look. Okay, guys, so here I am with my full idol look. Um, my Tara earrings, my Tara necklace, and my Zolo necklace as well loving it okay let's I, I still can't believe that we've just opened one box only let's get into the second one look at this at least i tried <laughs> i tried saving my bags another lady dior please be okay um this is patent leather so this should be quite durable anyway um, but you never know, right? Oh, it's so dusty as well. This is my large Lady Dior in the purple patent with the gold hardware. Oh, isn't she a beauty? Hi. <laughs> this is like my um, total Blair Waldorf look. <laughs> if you know, you know. Big Gossip Girl fan here. I'm currently re-watching again. I don't know for the how many of time. I was like, oh, what is this? This is another cushion bag. <laughs> but I know. So uh, here we've got my Bottega Veneta chain pouch and look, I really tried to pack them nicely so that the chain doesn't damage the leather, etc. <sighs> yeah, it looks good. Um, in general, Bottega is still one of the fashion houses that has exquisite leather, just like Bulgari, Lanvin, etc. I just, I'm so sad that you know, I had so many issues with the green mini Jody, um, but I think this is not going to taint my love for Bottega. So here we got our beautiful bag, and the chain is so heavy and substantial. This is quality, guys. Hi. This is the bag. And another cushion bag. <laughs> it's uh, my other Bottega pouch. This is the classic 
pouch. Have you survived? Yeah, that's the front. So this is the classic pouch in the gold wrinkled leather and I love this bag from the moment I spotted it. I think on a picture somebody um, at Milan Fashion Week was wearing it or so when I saw it for the first time and I had to get her. Look at this beautiful leather and again all my bags are stuffed. Again, it smells good. <laughs> so at least, you know, nothing happened with them. I mean, I hope I can fix my mini Lady Dior, but so far so good with all the other bags. So these I love so much, Salvatore Ferragamo. I got three Ferragamo bags currently, and um, I can tell you I got more on my wish list already. Um, they are so beautiful. They are so timeless. <laughs> absolutely stunning. This is the classic Ganshini um, black top handle bag. Yes, let me remove the dust. So they will age beautifully as well and you can still wear them when you're like 80, 90. <laughs> you know, they will never go out of style. Fendi. Oh yes, okay, this is my Fendi travel bag. <laughs> this is the large Fendi Picaboo. I love this bag. Um, this time in the Hamptons I didn't have her with me because we were moving. Um, that's why I got this Louis Vuitton travel bag. But usually this is my travel bag, especially if we go to New York, the Hamptons. You know, it comes with a strap as well. You can hang it on your shoulder and then it sits about here. Um, it holds a lot. <laughs> this bag is a miracle. Like, it is huge. <laughs> Big, huge! <laughs> this should be probably another certain pine top handle bag. Like you guys know I have the crystal bag. One of them is a crystal bag with like a million crystals as well. I think it's 7,000 crystals. Yeah, this is it. I put it into the Gucci dust bag because it's like satin and it's super soft. Because I was really worried about this and oh, please have survived this well. Yeah, to protect the handles I put like even a little Bulgari dust bag in the middle there. Oh, look at her. Oh, wow. Okay, so let me check. It looks, looks good to me. looks absolutely fine. So there we can admire her beauty. Comes with a strap as well. And yeah, let's... Uh, I think she needs to go in the middle. Like I said, I've got no idea how I'm gonna rearrange everything later on. We figure that out <laughs> when the moment comes. This was uh, box number two. Now on to box number three. This was my first ever designer handbag. My Louis Vuitton Mirada. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh. Oh god, guys. Okay, storing your bags away for so long. Six months. Oh, it's really not good for them. Okay, let me see if I can show you the damage. This wasn't there before. Oh my god. Yeah, what can I tell you? This hurts. This was my first ever. My first ever designer handbag. My first ever Louis Vuitton bag. Oh. What can I do, guys? If you have any advice, let me know. Now I'm nervous because this is my other Vanille Louis Vuitton bag. My Pas oh, it's, she's fine. This is my Louis Vuitton Pasadena in the magenta vernis. Um, the Murada is in the Amarante vernis. This is the magenta vernis, and oh, okay, there you can see the gold hardware is totally fine. Oh, I'm so heartbroken. Hi, this is the little Pasadena bag. She's dusty as well. But, oh, guys, so sad. Okay, next up is another Lady Dior. And this is my vintage um, classic Lady Dior in the medium size. This is the bag that was gifted to Lady Diana um, with gold hardware. And here it's fine, obviously, if it's a vintage lambskin bag. And all these um, quiltings are like D puffed. <laughs> They're all deflated and that's absolutely fine. Um, you know, it gives it a nice vintage look and you can never go wrong with a classic Lady Dior. And this should be my last Lady Dior. Um, 
hope she survived because she is like twelve thousand. Well, she was twelve thousand dollar. It's probably way more now. Nowadays, probably the mini in the Royal Python costs like twelve thousand dollar. So, um, yeah, this is my large Lady Dior and the Royal Python. Very, very special piece. Has she survived? <gasps> just looking at her. Yeah, this is all just different kinds of gold. This is absolutely fine. This is the way it's supposed to look. Um, okay, she seems to be fine. And I got a feeling that there's, um, yeah, not a Louis Vuitton bag in this. <laughs> this is my Fendi ICU peekaboo. Um, in the black lace with the floral, I don't know what you want to call it, floral embroidery, floral print. Um, I love this bag so much, especially in the winter time, with a nice long black coat. Wow, I love this one. There's, I think, three bags in here. <laughs> so I hope they survived. I got my Louis Vuitton Artsy um, and a uh, Bulgari and a uh, Ferragamo bag in here. Um, because, yeah, I don't know where to put it. Let's hope they survived. So first off, the Artsy canvas, luckily, um, you know, if you store it right, it should change its appearance again. This looks a little bit, oh, not as nice as it was looking beforehand. So if I stuff it with a cushion again or something like this, I hope it's going to look good. And I hope these little wrinkles here... Um, see, will disappear. Um, but yeah, this is a very rare artsy as well. Um, this one is the one with the python handle. They only made a very limited uh, number of these as well. And to be honest, the artsy is, is a cool bag. Um, you just have to worry a little bit, like if it's raining or so, I wouldn't take this one out. Then we got my Bulgari um, Serpenti Forever top handle bag, the classic one in brown carung. And again, look at her stunning piece. Some of you actually warned me um, about this, but by that time the bags were stored away because you obviously you film a video, you know, and then it takes a couple days, a couple weeks sometimes until you actually publish it. And some people said, Romina, don't put this bag, um, the white, the cream Salvatore Ferragamo with the Bulgari, because there might be color transfer. And I might have to show you this on the phone again. Can you see that? There is a little bit of color transfer. Lessons learned, you're always smarter afterwards. Um, oh, I mean, it's fine, it's just the back, it's still a beautiful bag, but oh, you know, all these things could have been avoided. Okay, guys, and next up, another bag where I was a little bit worried. This is my Versace La Medusa, and obviously, you know, <laughs> if you have to move these bags, like your heart stops because you don't know if like all the crystals will still be there when you unpack them. Looks good so far, so fingers crossed. Like I said, I check everything. I have to do like a proper spa day, I think, for my bags and take care of them. Um, but yeah, she survived. Okay, guys, we're just doing the last box now, so bear with me. Okay, so here we got another one of my favorite Chanel bags. I think I just need to clean these up and stuff them with like fresh um, tissue paper maybe. But yeah, this is the Chanel 31 in the medium size. I love this bag. It comes with straps as well, especially now in winter. I definitely have to wear this more often. Um, the 31 is actually one of my all-time favorite Chanel bags, like no question. Such a practical bag, such a beautiful bag, such a unique design. Um, I love the minis as well that they came out with um, this year. And I think this thing will come in handy again um, for this bag. I definitely still need to order more because I still have my Chanel 22. I think that one needs one of those too. This is a Gucci bag. Whew. Isn't she stunning? Um, the Gucci Marmont in the Ruben Velvet with um, the floral embroidery. I love this bag. This will look okay. This will look great with a pink outfit, an old pink outfit as well. Um, yeah. Okay, my heart is racing because two of my favorite bags were like really um, close to each other as well, and they're both box calf bags. So please let there not be any scratches. This is my 
art piece, my Gucci brooch bag. And you guys know this is always the center um, of attention. Yeah, I don't know where to put this bag yet. We find her a nice spot. For now, this is it. <laughs> but, oh my god, I'm gonna have so much to do to figure out where what goes. So this is the, this is another piece that's incredible. This is the Louis Vuitton Capucine. This baby is black box calf. Oh my god, look at her. She is so incredible. She's so stunning. This is now called MM size, even though this is the original PM size. They discontinued the MM, so now they call the PM MM, but um, yeah. So this is a perfect size, I think, for every day, you know. Love her. And she has this tortoise handle. Absolutely gorgeous. It's, they also didn't make a lot of these bags. Super special, super rare. And the box calf is just beautiful and shiny. Oh dear, and here we got the drama queen herself, um, my Chanel 22. And um, I mean, <laughs> what can happen to her, right? She already started peeling and cracking, so we're good, we're good. This one has survived quite well, what a joke. Here we have another Chanel bag, and this is probably one of the most practical Chanel bags I have ever owned. So um, this is my reissued Chanel CC Tote. Um, the vintage version was a little bit larger. This is the perfect everyday bag. And we got a bag in a bag. So let me carefully take this one out. And guys, this is it. And I got a bag organizer. Um, some more a bag organizer in there. And this is again very durable leather. Um, this was from the Metidia 2020 collection as well, the same as my little rainbow issue. And this bag, honestly, I've, I've worn it in the rain and it has held up so beautifully. It looks like new. No, it absolutely looks like new. I'm loving it. Um, and the chain is super thick. Um, it's way wider, the chain links are way wider than the jumbo ones, and yeah, it's almost like the original um, CC toad that they brought out like in the 90s. And I was like, what's in here? <laughs> it's another Gucci bag. So this is again um, a bag that I've used so much um, because it's so practical. This is my Gucci Dionysus bag. And uh, I love this one to pieces. Oh, I have to clean the inside as well. A bit dusty. Okay, so this bag comes with gold and silver hardware, as you can see. And we know I love everything with flowers. <laughs> so um, I have to show you my curtains as well. Super floral too. Um, yeah, so this is it. This is my little Gucci Dionysus bag. So guys, can you see? These are my curtains and I absolutely love them. And here she is, I was wondering where she is. This is another favorite of mine. I mean, they're all my favorites, right? So <laughs> this is my Lanvin Roboquette um, Leopard Shilling bag. <laughs> so I was thinking when I filmed my shilling vlog with all the new shilling bags that are coming out now, I was like thinking, oh, I don't own a single shilling bag, but I do. How could I have forgotten about her? So, beautiful long bag. bag. Um, it's more of an art piece as well, but you can wear it. It's great quality, you don't really have to worry about it. And yeah, and we got one more box and I, I should have 50 bags, so I really need to count them in a second. Um, and also I know that I did put some of the small bags in other bags, so there's maybe still a surprise somewhere. This, guys, I think is my beloved gold-plated Bulgari bag, yes. This is my Bulgari Serpenti Forever in the mini size in Karung leather um, and it is entirely gold plated. Not only the hardware but the entire bag is gold plated. 24 karat gold plated. This is a little jewel as well. She needs to go somewhere special. And then of course we got my, like I said, my favorite bag in the world. This is the third one that I got. This is my Bulgari Serpentine Top Handle in black and gold. This was the first one and I fell in love with it. Um, and yeah, I mean, the saga continues. I got it in black and cream and crystal. Cool, huh? Oh, and of course, we got my 
Burgery Marie Catronzo collaboration bag. So this, as you can see, is a very special piece as well. You guys know I'm a Slytherin. I love everything with the snakes. That's why Bulgari and I are such a good match, I think. Lovely bag, you know, people will always ask you about it and it's a conversation starter. So yeah, guys, I'm just sitting here reflecting on everything. I'm gonna start cleaning the bags now and reorganizing and then I show you how everything looks like once the room is done. Um, but just learn from my mistakes. <laughs> Make sure if you ever pack your bags away that, you know, nothing is rubbing against it so there's no color transfer, that nothing is getting squished too hard, especially if it's a soft um, leather like that one. You know, if it's a structured leather, it's fine. If it's a lambskin, I won't do it. So, yeah. Okay, let me get on with it. Oh my god, guys, okay, I think I think I did it. I think they are in kind of an order now that I can live with, with my OCD brain. <laughs> Let me show you. I got my Artsy and my Neverfull in there. Classic Louis Vuitton monogram. We still got Fran there with her friends. <laughs> and this is it, guys. I think I'm super happy with this layout for now. I'm sure I'm going to change it up in the future. But this is it. All my babies. Oh, look at this. Isn't it stunning? And then the same there with all the sparkles. <laughs> Okay, I am super happy um, with this layout and this is the other side. Um, like I said, they really came in handy, those Amazon thingies. And yeah, that's it guys. Let me know, do you like it? It was a lot of work. <laughs> it really was a lot of work. So I think this was a success. <laughs> So I'm super happy with how it looks like. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for sticking around. This was such a long video. If you made it to the end, give me a pink heart. <laughs> pink heart emoji, that would be cool. Or as many heart emojis as you want to. So if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, join our little handbag obsessed family here because we all do have the same luxury disease and yes you can see it it is a disease. Also make sure to go and check out Idle and use my code and you know. It's the perfect time now when we're all looking for presents and gifts. So, and I, I love it. I mean, you can see. <laughs> I think my mom would love that as well, to be honest. So I think it is a perfect gift. Let me know if you find something as well. And yeah, I see you again very, very soon, guys. Bye.